Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C here, thanks for watching. So we all know, uh, fish keepers, we know that keeping fish, running aquariums, uh, it can be an expensive endeavor uh, between, you know, electric and water and all the, you know, the chemicals, conditioners, food, setup, all that stuff, it can add up really quickly. So you've got to save money where you can. Um, I've talked about this product many times before, but I don't feel like enough people use it. Um, a lot of people, including myself, I used to use Seachem Prime when treating my water. Uh, that wasn't a problem when I started. You know, I started with smaller tanks, the 20s, 30s, 40 gallons. And Seachem Prime, great product, but it's, you know, you can go through it pretty quickly when you start getting bigger tanks or multiple tanks. So now I have uh, 10 tanks adding up to almost 700 gallons. If I would use Seachem Prime for my water changes as my conditioner, I mean, I'd be buying a bottle every couple of weeks, just just spending money right and left on that. Um, so really, in my opinion, whenever you get anything over about 75 gallons, you should start looking at other options to save yourself money. And a real, real easy way to save some money is just switch from whatever conditioner you have, if that's Prime or whatever else you use, to what is called Seachem Safe. Um, obviously, same company as Prime. It removes chlorine, chloramine, ammonia, detoxifies nitrite and nitrate. Essentially, this is your good conditioner uh, for water changes or whatever else you're doing. What sets this apart from other conditioners, um, this is a one kilogram, 2.2 pounds. I got this on Amazon for $28, but check this out here. One kilogram treats up to 240,000 US gallons. So what that means is as opposed to me buying bottles of Seachem Prime every couple weeks and spending 10, 20 bucks a pop every time, I can spend $28 and that bottle will run, will treat 10 tanks of mine for eight to 10 months. Um, you're, you know, I'm spending one tenth of the money on Seachem Safe as I used to do on Seachem on Prime. And again, this is not saying Prime's not a great product. If I had smaller tanks, I'd probably just stick with Prime. It's easier to measure out for smaller tanks as opposed to Safe. But man, when you've got when you've got bigger tanks, you've got multiple tanks like I have. I mean, this is just an absolute no-brainer. Again, you guys can check this out. Uh, a lot of you probably have already used it. Um, I don't know of anyone who doesn't like it. It's it's pretty easy to use. Um, you don't have to be exact on your measurements when you know when you're measuring this stuff out. Because here here's what it says as far as treating. Directions: Use 1.2 five a quarter teaspoon for every 300 us gallons now that's that's a pretty small amount so if you're trying to measure it out precisely you know that gets a little bit tedious but um, if you're treating for chlorine and chloramine a quarter teaspoon for every 300 gallons uh, you're treating for ammonia um, a quarter teaspoon for every 75 us gallons so think of a quarter teaspoon for 300 gallons a quarter teaspoon handles this entire 220 gallon tank with uh, room to spare so if you compare that to Seachem Prime, I mean, you're just dumping cap full after cap full after cap full of conditioner into this tank. And it's just, you're spending money you don't need to spend. So I would really encourage, if you guys have a tank maybe over 75 gallons, I'd really encourage you to check into Seachem Safe. Uh, it's a really good product and um, it's just gonna last you so much longer and it's gonna save you a lot of money. So um, I hope more people would check it out just because it's it's a big part of your, your aquarium upkeep expense is treating water with conditioner. And this is a way you can slash those costs by, you know, 75% pretty easily. So um, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if any of you already use Safe, uh, put it in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. You know, I'd imagine most of them are pretty good in my experience from what I've heard from people. But if you have any bad experiences, leave those as well. And uh, if you don't want to try safe, let me know, you know, what you're using and why, you know, you use what you use. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time and have a good one.